So in this video, I'm going to take you through the diet conversion process I did for Ava, this cute nine-year-old female blue-throated macaw. Previously, she was on a fruity pellet to diet, no fresh food. And so I took her from that diet and converted her to not only my seasonal feeding system of fresh food that's made in the morning, but also my organic cold press pellet in the evening. So I had to start somewhere. The first thing that I noticed is she was really receptive to my pellets. Now this is pretty normal. Most birds will either take to fresh food or pellets. Since she was really receptive to the pellets, if I just handed them to her or left them in her aviary, I just started with pellets and my whole process or my goal was to convert her 100% from the fruity pellet to this pellet. And how I did that was I actually took her on a road trip uh, from her old owner to me. It was quite a long process. She actually refused to eat during the entire road trip. But by the time we got home, she was readily taking my organic pellet as you can see here she's happily eating it and she just took to it so easily and maintained her weight on it that it's all i offered so i wanted to make sure that she was eating it so consistently that her weight was up that she was happy that she was good she didn't seem like she was ever wanting or hungry and once she was eating that pellet really consistently then i started introducing fresh food now with the fresh food she wanted nothing to do with it at all she wouldn't even touch it she wouldn't even go near it she would kind of look at the bowl and then walk away so i started combining the fresh food with the pellets so that in order to eat the pellets she had to kind of accept that the fresh food was there this definitely worked but only to kind of a certain extent i noticed that she wasn't that interested in it so what really worked for me was feeding her with my other birds i had a little green cheek conure and my budgie blueberry believe it or not and just feeding her around them or in the same area as them they were all kind of outside in this really nice area she would see them eating it and i think it made her realize that since they weren't dying from eating this fresh food maybe she could tolerate it too so i got her to the point where she was accepting eating the pellets around the fresh food. From there, I started just making that the new norm. So for breakfast, she got the fresh food with the pellets. In the evening, she got just pellets. So then I felt like Ava was eating so well and so consistently with the fresh food and the pellet mixture that I actually took a weekend with my family and we went camping. I was a little bit high strung about leaving her in the care of somebody else only because with her feeding, I had been doing it out in this open area. And since somebody else was gonna be taking care of her, I knew that she was gonna be in her aviary 24 seven and being fed there and she hadn't really experienced that. So I was a little nervous. So I just got back from a weekend camping, had a caretaker taking care of Ava the first day. He's like, she's not eating. I was freaking out. We were only staying two days. So I decided not to come home early, not to freak out. And then I got another text later that night saying she ate everything. So I think it was actually good for her. And she's eating fresh food all by herself without needing another bird to be eating it. So I'm really excited. So I just gave her this. I think she was already taken care of this morning anyway, but doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt to have a second helping just so I can see you eating the fresh food. It's really exciting. So this took about seven days to get her on fresh food and my pellets completely. Just pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, look at your cute little face. Messy face. I actually think that weekend spent in the aviary being taken care of by somebody else was exactly what she needed because again, things had sort of changed up. And since she was eating that fresh food so consistently, I had actually told my caretaker, feed her the fresh food in the morning, the pellets in the evening. And when he had come back to me and said, oh, she's not really eating well day one, and then followed it up with day two that she was, I was really, really excited. And that just was the new norm. So as I came home and I was feeding her that way as well, it just kind of stuck. So this is a lesson in changing the environment can really change the expectation that the bird has of that environment. So for example, this bird going from her old home to our home, the road trip, just all the changes, she had zero expectation of what was supposed to happen or what the food was in this new environment. It's kind of the perfect time to change your bird's diet. So if you have a move coming up or you have a trip coming up where you can really change things up, 
try just having the new food be the new norm. Now you need to be monitoring weight to make sure that your bird is not starving itself, refusing to eat, all of those things, getting into dangerous levels. But for the most part, we've definitely found a lot of success when we change the environment, the behavior changes along with it.